Sam Colonna before another very important fight uh, of Andrew Pompara on the January 28th on Friday fighting another fight he cannot lose. I mean, how tough is to train a guy who already has two losses is hopefully the big, big, the big uh, future in front of him, but also he knows he cannot lose. Well, the two losses, you know, I think he learned very much from the two losses. One, you know, um, the weight, the weight problem he had, you know, losing all that weight. Now he feels comfortable with this weight. You know, he's grown into a light heavyweight. He has no weight problem at all. The two fights he had, he always had to lose weight. You know, the guy is 6'1", trying to get down to 160. That was almost impossible. Now he feels real comfortable. He's stronger and faster. And I've never seen Andrew more dedicated, more focused than he is now. Absolutely. The dedication was always the factor. We talked about this many times before uh, uh, bring our you know Polish friends uh, uh, Polish fans uh, bring them a little bit e explain the fighter he's gonna fight on uh, Friday the January 28th well the, the guy is gonna fight you know he's been around and uh, any fighter that steps in the ring is a dangerous fighter as long as he's come to fight it's gonna be a, a, a fight that we need that we must win whatever we have to do we will win this fight and uh, it's gonna be a great fight this is the future of boxing right here, uh, Andrew uh, Farfaro. Um, how many times do you want him to fight this year? I mean, you want to fight him three, four times a year. When do you expect him to defend the WBC youth uh, title? Well, you know, we'll, we'll defend it whenever we have to, but, you know, we're looking to bigger things. You know, this is a stepping stone, the belt, but uh, we're looking to fight at least four or five fights this year, and hopefully we'll fight some top-notch guys. That way, uh, Farfaro will be ready when it comes down to the, to the world world belt that's what we're looking for.